The Constitution clearly gives the American press the right to criticize government officials. But what if a person isn't a government official, but is still a public figure dealing with public interests? It's first down and goal for freedom of the press in Curtis Publishing Company v. Butts. The Saturday Evening Post published an article accusing Wally Butts, the athletic director of the University of Georgia, for conspiring to fix a 1962 football game between Georgia and the University of Alabama. The article claimed that this fix was the most shocking sports story since the Chicago White Sox threw the 1919 World Series. According to the article, an Atlanta insurance salesman accidentally overheard a telephone conversation between Butts and Paul Bryant, Alabama's head coach, during which Butts outlined Georgia's planned plays. The article then discussed Georgia's loss and stated that Butts would likely never work in football again. Butts sued Curtis Publishing, the publisher of The Post, for libel. A jury ruled in Butts's favor. Curtis appealed to the Fifth Circuit, which affirmed the lower court's judgment. Two years earlier, in Associated Press v. Walker, the Associated Press published a story claiming that James Walker personally led an uprising against federal marshals who were enforcing the court-ordered enrollment of James Meredith, an African-American student, at the University of Mississippi. Walker allegedly encouraged a massive riot and gave rioters technical advice on how to withstand tear gas. Walker sued the Associated Press for libel in Texas state court, arguing that he was a decorated veteran who was merely counseling restraint to the rioting students. The court ruled in Walker's favor, and both sides appealed to the Texas Court of Civil Appeals. The appeals court affirmed the ruling, and the Texas Supreme Court denied cert. The United States Supreme Court granted cert to both cases.